financing your first rental property. Marie, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. Uh, according to my notes, actually the 207th episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. So thank you guys for your continued support. Uh, new viewers out there, if you've never watched this show before, the first thing you need to know about Holton Wise TV is our number one goal. The very first thing we want to do to anybody is create a following of educated real estate investors. Real estate is a tough business, okay? And the biggest thing we do is provide you guys with transparency and education about this business. A lot of people out there are giving out real estate education, Holton Wise TV giving out education, not doing anything that's changing the world, okay? Nothing revolutionary about giving out real estate education. But what we do different is we couple that education with real deals, actionable, real-life businesses. I am a real real estate broker. I am managing thousands of real tenants. I have construction, maintenance, insurance, title, the whole nine, right? So when everyone else is giving you guys theory, and then after you pay for their course or their book, you're on your own to actually make a real deal happen. Not the case here with us at Holton Wise. And because of that, we need to back that up with actual transparent looks at what these deals are actually going to look like, right? Like I can't uh, tell you one thing and then in reality it's going to be different, right? Which all that kind of leads me to you, Marie. All right. First of all, you're a blue collar girl. I love that. School bus driver, you live uh, in the general uh, greater Cleveland area. So you're a local gal. You've been watching the show and you'd like to get started on investing, right? And um, Look, you bought a package, okay? You bought uh, you bought an MLS search and analysis package, so I'm going to be able to do uh, several videos for you, several deals for you, which is great because this is a long-term thing, right? What I want to do is make sure that when you actually do make your first investment, it's the right investment. I don't think there's good houses and bad houses. I don't think there's good properties, bad properties. What I think is... We need to match the right investor with the right property at the right time at the right price, right? And that is what's important to me above all else. What I don't want to do is just go rah, rah, rah and, and try to push you into something that I don't necessarily think you're ready for, right? So you paid me uh, to give you my advice as a real estate investor and to help you do some deals. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Even if, uh, it, you know, I don't want you to get a little bummed because I think I want to take things a little slower than you might think. And here is why, okay? What uh, you've specifically told me, all right? You're a school bus driver. You want to build for retirement. Now, you are pre-approved to buy a home for $69,900. Now, this would be your very first investment property, okay? And you sent me your pre-approval letter. Thank you for that. By the way, guys, when you sign up for the MLS search and analysis packages, which, by the way, you go to HoltonWise.com, click the property search for sale tab, go to the MLS search analysis show. That's where they all are. That's how you buy them. When you guys buy these packages, okay, I get a notification that they came in, and then usually that day or the next day, I send you a follow-up email asking you a whole bunch of questions about your situation, right? And then above and beyond that, you can give me as much information about yourself as possible. The more information you give me about, you know, you give me about you, your situation, the better show I can put together for you, right? And Marie, you sent me that pre-approval letter. And I'm so glad you did because I may have missed something that's incredibly important here, right? Here is the situation. You are pre-approved to buy a home for $69,900, but on your pre-approval letter, the terms of this uh, are 5% down. So that means the bank is going to loan you $67,500, okay? 5% down. Here is the thing. 
That is actually an owner-occupied pre-approval letter. When folks are buying their first rental property, financing their first rental property, they wouldn't know this, all right? So that's you know part of the reason you tune into shows like this. When you buy your own home that you're going to live in, okay, you can do deals where you can do 3.5% down, 5% down, sometimes 3% or 1%, right? It all, it all varies, right? You know, 3, 3.5%. Five, one. I've, I've seen other terms, okay? But that's, you know, what you can get. When you buy a non-owner occupied property, i.e. your first rental property, a property where you will never live in that home, the terms are not going to be like that, okay? The terms are typically... 25% down. We still get the low interest, the same low interest as the owner-occupied loans. It's, it's more or less going to be the same. Uh, we still get 30-year terms. It's still going to be fixed interest. It's still going to be tax deductible. Still amazing financing. But remember, you're looking at about 25% down. Now, here's the thing, too, with these residential loans. They work on properties that have between one unit and four units all under one roof, and they all have to be residential, right? So we can't have a five-unit apartment building and get one of these loans. We can't have a building where there is like a... Uh, Oh, I don't know, like a barber shop on the bottom and an apartment up top. We can't get one of these loans with those either, right? One to four residential units. And it's the best financing in the world. That's why I think real estate makes the most sense for blue collar gals such as yourself to, to get a side business, right? You don't have to uh, quit your job. You could do this business while you work your job. And I don't know any other business where the bank is going to give you 75% of the money you need to run the business, right? If you're trying to start a bar, they're not going to give you terms like that, okay? So, I love it. Negative to this is we only get 10 of these mortgages, just so you know. The first one, which is what most everyone is probably familiar with by the time they talk to me, is the mortgage you get on your own home, the home where you're going to live. It's probably what you did, Marie. That's where you live. And things like 1% down, 3% down, 3.5% down, 5% down, whatever, they're normal. That's what's going to occur, for that first mortgage you live in the house. But then when we go to two through 10, we're looking at 25% down. Now every once in a while, the caveat to that is, I've seen a couple lenders, they will do 15% down on single family and single family only for mortgage two, three, and four, okay? That's a small caveat. I don't really wanna get into the weeds of that. Generally speaking, you're looking at 25% on one to four units, mortgages two through 10, but that, that tiny caveat is in there, okay? Now, a lot of folks, again, they're not, they're not used to that. They don't realize that. And I, I think that might be the scenario where you're at, Marie, because if we're looking at this, looking at your pre-approval letter, okay, that would mean your down payment, the money you'd need to bring to the table is $3,450. Now, the fact that you need to put up most likely, let's just call it 25%. That means the amount of money you need to bring to the table is going to be a lot more just based upon that. And again, they're capping you currently at 69900 The other issue that I have with having you start right now today outside of that down payment issue, which I think is our first hurdle, the second hurdle is this is, this is all of your money, okay? You said you're going to build your portfolio very slow, right? So this is essentially going to be all your eggs in one basket, okay? And I would never want you to put all of your eggs in one basket for your retirement without ample reserves unless that basket was incredibly low risk. Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. So what I want to do uh, really quick is I want to show you something that I would like better for you in your particular situation because real estate investing it's risky that's why we do what we do that's why we have the tenants from hell show if you haven't seen those episodes please after this video i'll put some in the show notes below watch them this is a tough business are these bad things going to happen every time no i've made a lot of money in this business but i've also had a lot of really bad things happen to me but you know where i'm at currently i could take risks 
because like for every bad performing property, I have, you know, all these other properties that perform well, right? When I talk to my investors and I work with my investors who are trying to build up big portfolios, a lot of them are incredibly high net worth people and they're very uh you know they're well secured they could essentially play around with 50 60 70 thousand dollars like a loss of a hundred thousand dollars wouldn't kill them now i'm not saying that like when you do like a c-class rental or something like that a seventy thousand dollar house you, i'm not saying that like the odds of you losing a hundred thousand dollars are high like that i've never seen that happen to be honest i'm just like using that as an example to illustrate my point that if you only have enough funds for one deal and we're saving everything we have to do one deal, I really want that one deal to be low risk, Marie, because I would hate for you to get like a $10,000 eviction because that's possible. That could happen, right? You get a, a tenant in there and that tenant turns out to be a fucking asshole. They fuck everything up and then we got like a ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 cost to remediate that, right? Losing a hundred grand. No, that doesn't happen. But like if we have to do that, if you have to like get a ten, fifteen thousand uh, dollar renovation going to to cure a horrible tenant from hell, well, you know if you don't have an extra ten or fifteen thousand, and it might take you twelve months, eighteen months, twenty four months to save up, that's going to be a problem. So that's why. If you do an investment, we can only do one. I want to make sure you do the lowest possible risk investment. So that's what brings me to the house I've had on the screen. 4077 Bayard Road, South Euclid. Now, you can't buy this, Marie, okay? It's contingent. I've actually already analyzed this for another client, but I wanted to bring it up for you because I think this is the exact type of house I want you to do your first deal with. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to send you to the footage uh, where I originally ran the numbers for this client. 4077 Bayard Road, South Euclid, 44121. Just listed for five days, okay? It's a single family home, and it's priced at $95,000. Now, you'll notice if you watch a lot of my shows, that is on the high end for pricing for single family homes okay and i did that because given your situation it did not appear to me that you would be uh the type of investor who would want to get into a potentially risky investment right when i deal with investors i talk to them about their risk tolerance and given that this is money for a trust for an elderly person to live off of i thought trying to get something, trying to chase cash flow into rougher, tougher neighborhoods where, you know, the returns could be like this, okay? It's like a roller coaster, a lot of peaks and valleys. I didn't think that was the the prudent thing to do, right, with your finances, okay? So I targeted this property for you specifically in South Euclid because this is a low low risk property nice bungalow it's already in great shape we don't need to do much to this particular property as you see dude you know the floors they already look nice right the walls they look nice now i have allocated ten thousand dollars in this analysis for repairs because sometimes looks can be deceiving like it looks great from what I'm looking at in this photo it doesn't even appear to me that we really need to touch this particular room but as we cruise through more photos you know you start to see some things right like super tiny thing here but like right here okay this is a picture on the wall to me you know when we take that down, that's little holes in the wall. You don't know what's going on there. There could be other things throughout the home. Like these are things that the agents are not going to highlight in their pictures. So, of course, it looks great from far away. But I wanted to allocate some funds because I assume prior to putting a tenant in, we're going to want to do some cosmetic work because we're trying to get a very high-end tenant, right? So we cannot give them a subpar product. So holes in the walls and then like this kitchen, right? The floor, it looks fine from where we're looking the countertops and stuff, you know, we could work with it, but we're trying to get a really high-end tenant here. We're trying to get a tenant who has the choice to live wherever they want, but they want to live in this house because it's a really nice house. So, you know, the dated look, we may want to improve upon that. And just like, you know, these old curtains, right? You know, that's holes in the walls, things of that nature. So I wanted to make sure... You know, just more things, right? Photos, right? There's more holes in the walls. I wanted to make sure we allocated for that, even though the house appears to be generally turnkey. And this is another thing, too, right? We got a little mismatch here, okay? You got a stainless steel fridge, a black dishwasher, and then you have 
a white and black stove, right? That's a mismatch, okay? So would that, you know, potentially work in some areas? Sure, I guess, but like I want to give you a very stable tenant. I do like what they got going on in the bathroom. The bathroom looks nice, by the way, but what I was trying to say, let me finish my thought. I want to give you a very stable tenant. I feel stability is more important for you and your situation than returns. I had to get that out there, but then the other thing I noticed too, like looking at this far away, this looks good. This is great. Like I like this vanity. I like the mirror. That looks nice, but dude, if we like really look close and it's going to be hard for you to see but like look at this right here are you a lender if so holton wise is looking to partner with you if you're licensed in all 50 states go to holtonwise.com click the digital media tab to advertise on holton wise tv today but like look at this right here okay you see that? It's it's pretty hard for you to see, but it looks like something's like kind of bowing out there, right? So these are things that people are going to notice when they get up close and the inspectors, right? We're going to do a third-party home inspection. They will notice these things, right? So that's why I got that 10 G's in there because like, you know, far away looking at it like this, wow, dude, nice bathroom. But, you know, upon closer look, right, there's definitely some type of issues there, which is what my team and the home inspectors are going to find for us, okay? And then just, you know, finishing out, like, another thing, too. Like, everything looks nice, but, like, look. See how it's, like, looks like they put, like, you know, probably a kid's room, okay? And they put a bunch of stickers and whatnot. You know, just stuff like that we're going to clean up. But, like, other than that, just super-duper minor, right? So, with all that said, it's listed at 95 k I believe we can pick it up at 90. I want to try to get it for you for 90. Now you got to understand, man, there's a lot of competition in neighborhoods like this because you're you're dealing with investors, but you're also dealing with owner-occupied folks, okay? So I think 90 would be the best case scenario. Like I said, I want to put 10 into it, right? Which takes us all into this deal for $100,000. We do that. We'll get a nice high-end tenant, cash pan tenant. We could go section 8 if we want to uh, increase the amount uh, of buyer, uh, you know, tenant buyers out there, people out there, but I don't think we really need to, right? In the nicer neighborhoods, I like to just go with the cash paying tenants, right? Because the neighborhood is going to generate a lot of high quality tenants, responsible tenants, dual income tenants, things of that nature. That's who I want to target for you, right? So I think we should have no issue if we go just the cash route or if we go cash route and Section 8. Your call, I don't think we need to go Section 8 here. If it was a lower quality property, like a higher risk neighborhood, I would push you more towards Section 8. But here, I don't think we'll have any issues getting a cash paying tenant in there at 11 hundo. I anticipate spending an average of 571 a month. Now, that's an average, dude. Every month's going to be different, but that's why I chose this property for you because, you know, I don't think we're going to have a lot of eviction. I don't think we're going to have a lot of vacancy. I don't think we're going to have a lot of people breaking into the property, right, when it is vacant. So it should, you know, perform closer to that average than, you know, a higher risk property, right? So that leaves you and your mother with a 529 a month NOI or 6348 right? So every year I anticipate you guys are going to net around 6300 Now, I don't think you're financing. I think you're just paying it cash. So if at $100,000, 90 acquisition, and then ten k to fix it up, make it really nice. That's a 6.3 cap, respectable cap for a very nice property. And then the other thing you got to think about too is eventually down the road, you could sell this. We spruce it up even more, make it even nicer. Like this is a property you could hold for like five, seven, 10 years. And then when you do decide to liquidate it, we go in and we treat it like it's a flip like an actual residential flip, you know, put like uh, AC, maybe new windows, do some other stuff to it. And your exit price, you know, could be in the, like the 130s or 140s, right? We don't need to put that much into it today to make it a high quality rental. But when you eventually want to liquidate this sucker, you know, with a neighborhood like this, I think we would definitely want to target owner-occupied buyers versus those investor buyers, right? So 6.3 cap, safe investment, and you got, you know, some nice stuff coming on the back end there. And I don't think you guys are financing it, but just in case you were thinking about financing, I ran the numbers for you on financing, uh, it would amount to a 9.1% return on your money. And that return is showing a little bit lower. It could, like, as just a rental, be like around a 10% return is what it'd pencil out to. But remember, I calculated putting 10 Gs into it up front. All right, Marie, welcome back. Now, as you see, right, where we're sitting, okay, that deal, the deal that I think makes the most sense for a person like you in your situation, where I would feel 
the, uh, you're very safe to go into a deal like that if you are a little undercapitalized. That deal would require $32,500. Now, also, too, I am aware that you are capped right now at a $70,000. Well, right now it's saying $69,900 as far as the purchase price. But they don't actually cap your purchase price, guys. What they do is they cap the amount of money they'll lend you, okay? So for you, Marie, right now with your current credit and income situation, a bank is only going to be willing to lend you uh, 67500 right? So doing the particular deal I like, if we use those numbers, okay, that's a $90,000 property, 10000 would be required uh, to get it ready to go for a tenant, right? So that would require a total of $32,500, right? Now, in this exact same scenario for you, if you take that 90000 okay, they're only going to be willing to loan you 67500 so you would just make up the difference okay you could make up the difference right in as far as your down payment so if we look at the actual purchase price now 75 percent of ninety thousand is exactly sixty seven thousand five hundred on the dot so you'd have that is what they would loan you and then you'd have to do the repairs and things on top of that if we found you a property that was ten thousand dollars more than this you'd still be limited to that sixty seven thousand five hundred loan you could just come in on top with cash more cash reserves okay so th all of these reasons are why i believe right now i think your very best bet is to do a couple things right one of the things that i saw uh, with your particular pre-approval letter is because uh, they they were running you as an owner-occupied buyer, so they were going over the owner-occupied options. And I saw on your pre-approval letter that they that particular bank offered products that uh, could have actually allowed you to do, if we're going under the guise that you're an uh, owner-occupied buyer, they had other products that allowed you to go in with even less down and more debt, but they were limited in offering those to you because of your current uh, debt to income ratio. So what that means to me is what I'd like you to do, okay? Before you think about buying your first property, I want you to save up money. I want you to save up more cash than you currently have. But before you even get to that, I want you to pay down some of your current debt, okay? Start with your bad debt first, your consumer debt, right? If you have credit cards, you got to pay those down, okay? Because those are killing us, right? Now, best case scenario, like when we do a deal like this, right? If we do a deal like Bayard, we're looking at a 9.1% cash on cash return, okay? Making 9% on our money. That's great. But if over here, you got a credit card and we're paying 28% interest, well, it doesn't make any damn sense to try to get 9% interest because we're losing. We're losing 28% over here. You get what I'm saying? So we got to pay this down to where we're not paying interest on any bad debt. Then when we get to zero, then start stacking the money in the bank account. Then when you get to an appropriate amount of cash reserves to do a low-risk deal, that's when I think it makes the very most sense for you to invest in real estate, Marie. So that's my thoughts uh, for where you're at right now, right? I, I don't think it's a good idea to make an offer on a particular property today. But hey, it's 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 your it's your financial situation. It's your money. It's your life. Uh, if I am off base on anything and there is like additional money you have and you do have enough for a 25% down payment and you really do want to get a $70,000 property, Hey, that's, that's totally fine. If despite everything I said you want to move forward with that, let me know in the next video I make. I will find one of those for you. Uh, but I just wanted to make sure I'm giving you my complete, open, and honest and unbiased decision. Because, again, I really want to partner the right investor with the right property at the right price and, more appropriately, at the right time. So, Marie, let us know what you want to do after watching this video. Everybody else, I told you earlier, but go to holdenwhites.com, property search for sale tab, click the MLS search analysis show. If you'd like to work with my team one on one to buy properties or in this particular situation to have us give you our advice about, uh, you know, maybe pausing and uh, buying properties down the road, right? I'm not just going to try to shove deals down your throat, guys. I want you to do the right deals. That's all I got for you today. If you're a first time viewer, do yourself a solid and smash!
that subscribe button because Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Feal, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. For property managers, you get advanced features like simplified owner distributions, automated management and placement fees, an owner portal, plus the software is certified for trust accounting. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry, certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year. You get unlimited free access to our US-based support team by phone, email and chat who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. G'day everyone, it's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in, so when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.